This is 24-year-old Karan, and he fell in love with 61-year-old Cheryl. The pair bonded due to their mutual love of TikTok and garnered much attention due to their 37-year age gap. To yet again, another perfected edition. My name is Olympian. Some of you might know me from my day job, serving subpoenas with the fiendish and the meanest of six inches. Now some of you guys question the very existence of love when it's unfolding in front of our very eyes. As the Olympian, we take pride and we're gonna put them to the test. Grammy, stop hitting on your great grandson. But undeterred by the internet trolls, Cheryl and Karan recently tied the knot. What's she saying? We got married, the water was running beside us, it was very beautiful. Man, you tied a knot. That's big up right there. You know what I'm saying, Karan? That is some G shit, right? That is some Andrew Tate shit, man. You take the world by the balls. That is what it is, right? In the words of Jimmy Soul, right? If you want to be happy for the rest of your life, make an ugly girl your wife. So from my personal point of view, Get an ugly girl to marry you. La 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 Sorry, just too much catchy. Gets me every single time. <laughs> now they want to grow their family and have children. Now I have to be honest with you guys, alright? When my father turned so at 61, he actually did bring home a kid. You know, can you believe the nerve of that son of a bitch? To bring home kids like that. But his wife was, was uh, you know, 45. Right? For a man it's easier. For women, I would say the cutoff date is like 50. Somewhere around that, right? I mean, you say you're 61, and then it finally hit me that women actually shave years off for them to look younger or to feel younger, right? They would shave off five years. In your case, I no, at least, at least you shaved at least 13 years off. So that would bring you to the respectable age of 75. What? 75 i mean listen guys don't before you throw in hate speech at at my comment section and calling me an uh, old vagina phobic all right i ain't an old vagina phobic all right i'm just sometimes i'm allergic to the dust all right let it be i'm still a mom it never stops so why shouldn't i have another child and they are finally ready to reveal the news to cheryl's daughter we had a baby do you think it would be a problem up uh, 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 what you <clears throat> you you two want a baby a baby i mean guys i mean you know that's why i didn't say anything when you said that you want kids and grow your family i'm i'm thinking about maybe you know if you adopt i mean there's a lucky a lucky girl or a lucky boy that you know that gets to be in a family i mean that's a good thing right you do you want a baby no uh -uh, uh -uh. All I can say to you, Karan, is respect your elders, you fucking asshole. Previously, we met Karan and Cheryl, who caused quite a stir with their unconventional pairing. I can't keep her hands off me. <laughs> she get me aroused, I'm telling you, it happens so often. <laughs> Lord, yo. Stop. Oh. oh, please stop. Bruh, please. Just <laughs> stop it. Don't do it to me, boy. Don't do it. Don't get me aroused, boy. But think about this, all right, for a second. Now, you know how it works in the real world, right? You need to ask someone for her hand in marriage, you know, whether it's a uncle or brother or whatever. In her case, um, no comment, all right? Maybe she has a son, right? Maybe she has a son, so Quran has to actually go to the son and ask the son's blessing, right? So he would, he would say, listen, I love your mother. I want to marry her. And then his son would ask, uh, her son would ask, listen, why do you love my mother? Right? Fair question. And watch Quran just give a bullshit answer like, Man, you wouldn't believe the way I tap that ass, boy. That's a fine piece of ass. I tell you, something. man, I get aroused every single time she's in the house. Boy, I tell you something. High five, boy. Since then, the couple have taken their relationship up a notch when Quran proposed to Cheryl. I proposed July 30th. They made it very special, my TikTok fans, because they donated over $3,000 on Cheryl's ring in one day. So I was wow. nervous. 
due to the fact that I'm finna propose to her. I looked at her and immediately started crying. I was like, I wanna spend the rest of my life with you. So I dropped down, I was like, will you marry me? And then she was like, yes. And it was amazing. What'd she say? I was ecstatic. It was one of the best days of my life. What a special moment, guys. Can we can we just take a moment to to just enjoy it, right? I mean, you know, he says that she said yes. I mean, we can't be too sure. No one actually heard she said yes. For all we know, she could have said go fuck yourself. But what an unbelievable I mean, guys. Wow. I have to blow myself. I can't even know uh, that pinch myself if I'm asleep and <sighs> what? Cheryl's not dying no time soon. She's not dead. Not for long though. Not for long though. That's a messed up comment. Bro, that is tough, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about, these haters. I know something about having haters, man. I'm looking at you, Evelyn Brown. You just a hater. But my, my, my thing, my vibe is that we're here talking about serious business and someone is taking a piss right next to these people. I mean, we cut that shit out of the show, man. You hear that that person is pissing. He's like, oh. Don't comment. It really is. <laughs> it really is. People need to get a life and stop trying to take mine away from me. Grammy, stop hitting on your great-grandson. What's weird to you is normal to us. She was there when Eve stole the apple from the tree. I wasn't there. <laughs> Man, that is so convincing. I almost believed it, you know? She's like, no, 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 listen, it wasn't me. Look, listen, look, look at me, look at me. It wasn't me, okay? All right, I heard about the events, but I didn't partake in none of it, you see? Man, that joke will be with you guys for the rest of your lives, right? You give her unintentionally an apple and and just right before she wants to bite it she's like no you know what happened last time god doomed all of mankind today my daughter ashley is coming over with my grandkids to visit my grandkids love quran they already call him papa y'all want to play the turtles yeah, yeah. they already call him paul paul Bruh, I, I don't even know who her diddle dang, you know what I'm saying? Like, good little diddle diddle the Joe. So, yeah, guys, it's been an absolute beast. I will make sure I'll leave the link in the description if you want to check out the full video on Truly. Leave no doubt, absolute banger. All right, as the Olympian signing off, we go for gold, because that's what we always done, diddle dang, boy. I mean, these two kids. You know, they you know, they love each other, I guess. You know, it's not about the money. You could see that. We put them to the test, and... Now, what do you know? True love exists, you know? Ancient. Rome wasn't built in a day. So, yeah, this is the Olympian, Olympianus, as I served you the penis with the meanest of six inches.